Founded in 1923, over decades, Fuji Electric has pioneered the pursuit of innovation in energy and environmental technology. The brand provides comprehensive responses from stable energy supply to energy saving and automation solutions by offering power electronics equipment with world-leading power semiconductors, systems that combine such equipment and engineering services, in addition to a suite of clean energy related products. The brand's commitment to economic growth, all the while addressing social and environmental issues, has brought Fuji Electric a long way forward in realizing its goals of building a sustainable and social industrial society through its energy and environment businesses. For nearly a century, Fuji Electric has become a brand that's synonymous with energy technology innovation. And so to shed more light on the company's mission, vision, and future ambitions, I'm joined by its general manager of business strategy office at Fuji Electric, Yosuke Ishizaka. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Now from humble beginnings nearly a century ago, today the Fuji Electric brand has of course built a global network that spans 96 nations. So give us a sense of the brand's reach and scale on the international stage. We are a global company with uh, 9 billion US dollars annual turnover with 27,000 employees all over the world. About 35% of them uh, works for us outside from Japan. We have 100 years uh, company history. Uh, at the initial stage, uh, we focus on to the Japanese domestic market. But uh, about uh, 40 years ago, we just started the business outside of Japan. And then our main growth uh, come from the, our uh, power electronics products integrated by the, our semiconductors. This is our own semiconductors produced by Fuji Electric. And then we are global leader for the semiconductors manufacturing. And then rapid uh, business growth come from Chinese and then Southeast Asia market. But then nowadays we will focus on to the Indian market as well. Fuji Electric got its start manufacturing motors. And today, of course, it's setting new benchmarks and industry standards when it comes to clean energy management. It clearly has touched a broad range of industry verticals. Give us a sense of the company's product portfolio. Now our business consists of four segments such as power generation, semiconductors, power electronics devices, and food and beverage distribution. Some of our products has a top market share in the world such as uh, geothermal power plant, uh, large uh, current transformers, and then a bending machine. In terms of the power semiconductors, we are leading company in the world. For the overseas market, we are focusing on energy and then automation, uh, such as uh, UPS, solar inverters, and uh, automation products such as AC drives, PLCs, servo systems, and the instrumentation products. Fuji Electric's corporate philosophy seems equally focused on achieving sustainability on the one hand and economic growth on the other. Mm. So how do you strike a balance between the two? Main philosophy of Fuji Electric is reducing CO2 emission. To do this, we are focusing on high efficiency products by using the silicon carbide IGBTs for renewable, clean, and saved energy, such as fuel cell, solar inverters, and high efficiency UPS, high performance AC drives. I have a Quite big confidence, many of, our, many of our products contribute to the SDGs. And how would you describe Fuji Electric's India-centric and India-specific growth strategy? Mm -hmm. It is a localization. In India, there are a lot of talented people, and many of them are young and ambitious. So we will do the business with them locally. As a manufacturer, we will go with the philosophy of local design, local manufacturing, and local consumption. We are now running huge business expansion in India. India's power sector is one of the most dynamic and diversified sectors globally with a range of both conventional and unconventional energy sources to boast of.
LG Electric India is taking the brand's global vision and philosophy of building sustainable societies by redefining energy management systems, automation powered by IoT technologies, and high-quality engineering services. With this, Fuji Electric India is focused on redefining India's energy outlook by building for her a sustainable future. And to share his take on the role that Fuji Electric will play in India's strategic growth story, and to shed more light on the India-specific as well as the India-centric sustainability opportunities, next I'm joined by the CEO of Fuji Electric India, Shivaji Gulab Bagmare. So for sake of some context setting, what sort of inroads has Fuji Electric, the brand, made in the India market over the last 35 years? Yeah, so Fuji Electric uh, came to India somewhere in 1985. This was, uh, they had done some joint venture with some Indian companies for some products they had come. And then after that, uh, Fuji Electric uh, came by themselves in 2007. And 2099, they have started their India operations in Mumbai. So you can see Fuji, and before that also, prior to that, Fuji Electric was known for their semiconductor products. Many companies, I know, starting from 1975, people are using Fuji manufactured bipolar transistors. Right. So Fuji is well known for Indian people. Mm -hmm. So now if you see the current situation, Currently, Fuji Electric India has 1,000 plus employees. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three manufacturing locations. One is in Pune, then in Chennai, then in Mumbai, and we have one more joint venture in Faridabad in Delhi. Mm -hmm. So there are, like you can see, the four manufacturing locations. Fuji has two R&D centers. Out of that, one in Pune is DSIR approved. DSIR is Department Scientific right. and Indian Research Organization. So this R&D lab, what we are having in Pune, is also almost more than 50 engineers are there. It's a state-of-the-art R&D facilities we are having. Chennai, we are doing automation R&D labs. So uh, yeah, uh, around 1,000 people, two R&D centers, four manufacturing locations, and many more expansions we are planning in India mm -hmm. to take care of further business growth, which we are anticipating a high growth in the business. Well, what are the industry verticals that Fuji Electric India caters to, and what are some of the solution suites on offer? So Fuji Electric India caters to many segments. Almost you can say every segment, Fuji Electric India is there. So primarily, if you see, Fuji Electric India has two divisions. One is energy division, one is a Automation division, okay. So if you see energy division, so uh, the products which we are offering through energy divisions are mainly UPS, three-phase UPS for data center applications, three-phase UPS for industrial applications, single-phase UPS, high-end single-phase, I can say, for industrial oil and gas applications, then single-phase UPS for banking and finance, active harmonic filter for power quality and solar inverters. This is the broad spectrum of energy division. And for automation division, if you see, it comes like mainly variable frequency drives, then instrumentation products, then factory and automation products. Mm -hmm. So these are the complete product range what Fuji Electric India is offering to Indian customers. Now, sir, with accelerated digitization and increased migration to the cloud, there is, of course, a surge in demand for data centers. So what sort of solutions does Fuji Electric India have on offer in that space? Okay. Yeah, Fuji Electric has, you can say, as far as power, solution, power is concerned, we have complete solution in power. Like it can be uh, upstream and downstream solutions. So right. in upstream, you will see there is a switchgear panel, MV switchgear panel, LV switchgear panel. This in Japan, they are using some other FSMB is related to Japan, uh, Fuji Electric only. Mm -hmm. But the same solution we can bring to India also. And if you see this mid solution like this is a very the heart of the system which is the UPS. So Fuji Electric is offering 
the 7000HX, which is a field proven system as a UPS 500 kilowatt module. And uh, we can offer this with lithium ion batteries also. So, this is basically UPS and battery solutions. So, if you go downstream, there you will see uh, power distribution units. Sure. So, that also Fuji Electric is offering. Mm -hmm. And apart from this, uh, next to this, you will see the static transfer switches. So, Fuji Electric has complete range of static transfer switches starting from 16 ampere to 600 ampere, one pole to four pole. It's complete solutions Fuji Electric is having. PD also power distribution unit also we are having complete solution from 100 kV to 600 kVA. UPS we can parallel as I said 7, 7000 HXI we can parallel multiple UPS for higher capacity. So apart from this uh, for power quality enhancement or you can say the stable power uh, Fuji Electric has active harmonic filter. So starting from 30 ampere to 1000 ampere. So it reduces the harmonics which is generated by electronic equipment at the data center. And another important thing is a static wire generator, so which is an active power factor correction system. So these two products come in the power quality category. That also Fuji Electric India is offering to our customers as a data center product. Well, sir, how would you describe Fuji Electric India's data center solution suite compared to the competition? What's the big differentiator, sir? Yeah, basically Fuji Electric India's product, if you see the key differentiator, is mainly a high efficiency products and small footprint is the main thing. For data center, any data center customer, the important thing is reliability of the product mm -hmm. and efficiency of the product. And small footprint is also equally important. Sure. So if you see from efficiency point of view, Fuji Electric India is offering 97% of efficiency, which is one of the highest with our competitors. Okay. And if you can say the reliability aspect, Fuji Electric, reliability is, uh, you can say the two things. One is the design reliability, and uh, the manufacturing quality. Right. So to improve reliability through design, Fuji Electric is investing a lot of money on simulation and actually testing of the products. So all their control system is simulated by using uh, MATLAB, PC, hardware in loop. These are the simulation tools Fuji Electric is using for their products. So this gives a good design reliability. And another is a reliability through manufacturing. So Fuji Electric or you can say per se any Japanese company, they are very particular about quality of the product. Of course, of course. So Fuji Electric has put a lot of, they have invested a lot of money in improving the quality of the product. Mainly repeatability also is important. Okay, you can build one unit reliable unit, but if you want to make number of units, right. you need to have a proper automation system. Mm -hmm. So that they have built. And the same thing we are incorporating in India also. So design quality, mm -hmm. manufacturing quality. So this makes this is a unique product. And the products which we'll be offering to India, basically this is a well proven product. This product is launched somewhere in 2011 in Japan. And it has hundreds of megawatt of installation across the world. Mm -hmm. The same product we are bringing to India, to Indian customers. Phenomenal. Yeah. Well, sir, as you alluded to a short while ago, Fuji Electric has certainly built a pan-India presence. But where are its most major installation bases located? Yeah, is so far as I told earlier, mostly it is. It has. We are just bringing it to India. Mm -hmm. But this product is not new. Right. Only the market segment you can say is new. Mm -hmm. But it's a well-proven product outside India. As I said, there's hundreds of megawatt of installations across the globe. Mm -hmm. You can see a few customers. At one customer's place, you'll mm -hmm. see around 48 numbers of 600 kilowatt. Phenomenal. So like that, there are many customers. Mm -hmm. So that's why this is a field-proven product which we are bringing in India. So now what's in the product pipeline as far as the data center application space is concerned? 
so as I said, data center applications are very challenging applications. So their customers are looking for always small footprint, higher efficiencies, high reliability, higher availability, lower mean time to repair. These are the main important things. So companies working on that ground. So that's why what we are developing now is the smallest footprint in the world, this product. So it will be around 2.4 megawatt and which you can further parallel to take it up to 19.2 megawatt. Sure. So this will be the highest rating in the world, what we are planning to go forward. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, one more product we are coming up, uh, which is having latest semiconductor components, which we call as a silicon carbide device, which is the just new generation of components, which gives higher efficiency. So by that, Fuji can offer 97.5% efficiency, which is the highest in the world at this moment. Mm -hmm. So this is the pipeline, you can say. And apart from the other small products are also there. Mm -hmm. But this is the main, uh, you can say, uh, development in progress. Well, another key trend that the industry has witnessed is this migration towards greener data centers. Mm -hmm. So what role is Fuji Electric India playing in that whole equation and how green would you characterize your data center portfolio as? Yeah, so green you can say that it is a high efficiency, mm -hmm. lower losses. Losses is polluting the things basically. So there Fuji Electric, as I said earlier, Fuji Electric products have higher efficiencies. Right. Existing product around 97 percent efficiency. And another is reactive power compensation or input poor power factor that also contributes to electrical pollution mm -hmm. you can say so there this product are designed to take care of unity power factor or at the input side mm -hmm. so in that sense okay higher efficiency smaller footprint and zero reactive power at the input mm -hmm. this you can say this contributes to some extent to the green energy mm -hmm. so apart from data center there are other products which fuji electric have developed such as like solar inverters. Sure. They also contribute to green energy. Mm -hmm. So this is solar energy generated through solar and this is exported to the grid. So there are many other products also, but if you restrict up to data center, I can say this is high efficiency, small footprint and unity power factor. Well, sir, in today's competitive environment, customer service has really become a game changer. Right. So how would you characterize Fuji Electric India's strengths on the diagnosis, troubleshooting, and customer service side of the business? Yeah, basically, yeah, as you are rightly said, customer service has become a very, very important aspect of any uh, product offering company. Absolutely. Yeah. So Fuji Electric has always a big focus on giving service, timely service to our customers. So our team can handle so our team is equipped to handle customers 24 by 7, 365 days service support. And we have a huge team of service engineers, so around 400 engineers are there. Locations, more than 80 locations across India, because India is a huge country, so you need many service centers. So idea of bigger service centers is that you should be able to go to the customer's place in less than three or four hours mm -hmm. so that customer will not have any downtime right. of, of his equipment. So that was the idea to have more service locations across India. 400 people, 80 service locations, 15, you can say more than 15 now service commandos mm -hmm. which are very knowledgeable to resolve the critical or trivial problems in the field. And system is also designed in such a way that a lot of diagnosis is there in the system itself. So we train the service engineers to how to read those diagnoses, mm -hmm. messages and diagnose the system. So that helps. And going forward, we are also planning to remote monitoring of our systems. Mm -hmm. Wherein here also from our office, we can do next level of diagnosis. So that is the idea. So instead of sending person on site, mm -hmm. remotely you should be able to do some diagnosis. 
Well, sir, we certainly look forward to it all. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us, and we wish you continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that brings our special feature, Empowering India with Fuji Electric, to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from the company's campus in Pune. Thanks for watching.